Okay, so thinking, let's think a little bit uh, into the future, not too far, um, but life post beta. So we're, we're already planning um, a couple of coordinated campaigns, uh, really targeted towards community developers and just uh, building our ecosystem and building the, the developers that come to our ecosystem and build useful products. So one of the coolest things that we're still fleshing out, but uh, we're absolutely committed to is launching a series of consecutive um, developer competitions for really for apps using our beta and using our sidechain technology. So these will be competitions that will be relatively short in duration. So short with respect to you know the the complexity target that we're looking for for these types of applications, which would be on the lower side. Um, and also, you know, the time frame should allow the community to have sufficient time to actually um, see, you know, uh, see and, and touch and test it and experience the applications that are delivered and then vote on them. Um, so what we're thinking is these two month cycles, we're going to be doing them consecutively and really uh, putting some serious resources into it. Um, so clearly, as our resource uh, constraints are, you know, uh, um, relaxed a bit, then we'll be increasing the, the amount of resources for developers. But this is something we absolutely have to do. Um, so it's something that we've been waiting on this this key technology that differentiates us from the rest of the market. And we're getting really close. So with beta, we're going to have the technology that developers can really start, um, you know, building some some serious applications with. Now, in addition to that, so we're not stopping there. That's just a start, and this is a coordinated, you know, set of set of campaigns towards uh, building our developer community. Had a great conversation with Jonas Rosario, Gustavo, and Lucy yesterday about HDE, the Horizon Developer Environment, and uh, a set of big hackathons, a, a hackathon campaign that we've been planning with one of our partners. Um, so the hackathons were supposed to be in-person hackathons. Uh, clearly, that's not exactly feasible right now, uh, given the COVID situation. But what we're thinking is, uh, as, as early as um, beta goes live and Horizon Developer Environment HDE goes live, we can kick off uh, some of these hackathons and do them as virtual events. So we can still get a, a good bang for the buck and just get rolling. So I'm, I'm not a fan of delaying things if we don't have to delay them and we can course start with some online hackathons and then roll those into real you know live events when uh, the situation permits it so that's exciting because we're going to have uh you know a great education content for uh new or relatively junior developers many of them uh, many of these events will be with universities um, so which is great because this is the next crop or the next generation of developers that we want to uh, you know, pull into our ecosystem and then not just throw an event and, and hope that they love our, our project and keep coming back, but actually provide follow-on activities and events that they can participate in productively uh, and become engaged. So HDE is something that I'm extremely excited for, and I think the team's doing a fantastic job getting it ready to roll out with beta. So I, I love the tangible results that we're already getting. Um, on the marketing and, and growth and BD sides. So we're starting to see, like Lucy said, just the, the statistics as she read off about our um, community growth in terms of our comm channels and then the engagement that we're getting from them. That's really just a proxy for a whole bunch of stuff that's going on behind the scenes or, or things that are going on that aren't necessarily measurable or harder to measure. Um, but the end result is we're seeing a, a big increase in traffic and engagement across all of our communication channels uh, even you know down to our website. So that's just one indication that what we're doing uh, on at, at least this level is working very well. And let's see, the, the last thing that I wanted to mention here is uh, a huge shout out to Peace Stew and you know Stoic Nate and some of the other uh, very, very uh, devoted community members who have launched the Horizon Community Council, HCC. So HCC went live over last weekend, and this is something I'm extremely excited for. You can read at least a hint of it in our white paper 2.0. We had a section on the HCC, um, but from publishing that until today, there hasn't been much, uh, much news about it. Uh, that's not to say that there wasn't a bunch of work going on behind the scenes, but that culminated over the weekend, and uh, Peace2 launched a website, um, horizoncc.org, and a Discord server. That uh, we also have a channel in our own Discord, but HCC, the Community Council, is meant to be an entirely independent entity, and that's why it's something that I very, very much uh, support, and, and I want to see this 
um, this entity grow and, and I want it to become an important, uh, you know, contributing element of our ecosystem, but I'm not, I'm not going to join myself. I would love to join, but I, I want this to be a completely independent entity. And it's starting off with one formal role. So it'll have a formal role and then some informal roles and we'll see where it goes from there. But the formal role for the HCC will be to act as an editor for the Zenep process, the Zen improvement proposal system. So this is where, um, you know, uh, really going forward because we haven't been using it so far, we just set it up, is whenever we have uh, improvements to our, our code base, we're going to be formalizing them in Zenep's. And the Zenips have a formal submission process, a review process, and there will be three initial editors to the Zenip process. HCC will be one of these editors. The foundation here will, will be an editor, and then also Horizon Labs as really the development arm thus far for the ecosystem will be another editor. Uh, so you have three editors. HCC will, will have an important role there in, in being really the, the first point of contact for new proposals for development in the ecosystem. Really excited for it. Informally, HCC is going to act as an advisor to the team, to the foundation, uh, and really just keep us in the loop with community sentiment. So this is really important. We, we have to, sooner than later, uh, really empower our community. So this was, we, we could keep on saying, well, hey, the, the community will, will be empowered with the voting system that we uh, want to implement, but we, we don't want to wait. Right. So this is the first step in giving a voice to the community in some sort of organizational context. And I take it very seriously that the HCC will have a strong advisory role with us to start. Really big congratulations on, on you know, the guys putting that together already. I, I've been told that the, you know, the first kernel of the council has been formed really from some of the people that you know and love from this community. Um, so I, I don't want to name them all because I, I may miss, leave someone out. Uh, inadvertently. But guys, thank you so much for just taking the initiative and just showing your devotion, passion for what we're doing here to actually take the time and effort to stand up a community council. 